Sonic State here at no, uh, Superbooth 2018 at the Novation booth with Chris, or you probably know him as Kalk. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Now, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with you oh, because heck. I did the original review of Circuit only for you to go add loads of blooming updates, making my original <laughs> review out of date. We had to come back and film another one when at the 1.4 stage. Okay. And now you're saying at 1.7, the, uh, new firmware so. and loads of new things to show. Guys, I am so sorry to upset you this way by giving you new features oh. and giving you new things that you can do, oh. but oh. indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Brilliant. So, okay, so yeah, there's new firmware coming. Yes, indeed. 1.7 is going to be, we've, uh, not yet, just an in soon, shall we say. Yes, indeed. I mean, this we've been working um, you know, in the background on this for a little while. Mm -hmm. And again, the, what we've been doing with Circuit right from the, you know, from day one is really kind of listening to the people that are using it. Right. Listening to the features that they're asking for yeah. and where we can, yeah. giving them those features Ooh. in a way that is nice and usable now, for them. I have to say, I don't know yet. I haven't, okay. I haven't been tipped off okay. what's in this update. Okay. So I'm actually pretty excited. Okay. Come on. Well, on the circuit now, we have three kind of main things. Yep. So, um, let's, well, we've got a new page here. So, I'll put a, a note page? on page here. So, on the gate page, if I press shift now, yeah. we now have a legato switch. Oh, and useful. This, I, I'm, I'm going to be quite honest, uh, my bosses will kill me for saying this, but this <laughs> is something I've wanted right from the from very the beginning, beginning, of yeah. course. Yeah. So, that means, you know, yeah. previously on the gate page, you could have a 16 step gate. Mm -hmm. And that was it, basically. We're fixed to that. Mm -hmm. But now, if you switch on the legato, yep. that is going to tie forward to the next note. Uh, and if I now move to another pattern, yeah. and uh, let's go and put a quick note on there. So uh, put that note in. And so that's gated there. So we can make that a bit longer. Now, when I join the two together, yeah. we should oh, uh, let's turn this down. You can see now we're not actually re-triggering yeah. on the next, oh, next step. Yes. So it's a small thing, but actually yeah. it's quite a big deal in terms of being able to make longer, longer. nice, strong um, mm. uh, chord progressions. Mm. If you're into drones as well, of course, you can. In fact, you can just do a simple single pattern drone, yeah. and that will just keep going round because it's going to legato, legato tie back to itself. Yeah, neat. So you know that's again, it's a small thing, as yeah, I say, yeah, but, but, it, but it adds a lot. Yeah, I think it's cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Now uh, there's another thing on that same page as well. Yeah. We've we've added so. This is the uh, second feature, so on the gate yeah. page. Yeah. Now we have a microstep position for the synth. Oh, now, like you'd have that with the beat. Yes, indeed. So on yeah. the drum, on the drum uh, page, for example, yeah. on the gate page, if I uh, place a step, so we put a step on, go to gate. Mm -hmm. Now I have six ticks underneath each step, so, like, so I can kind of do the ratcheting, ratcheting drum sound, yeah. Yeah. that sort of thing. Um, and that was not available on the synth. Mm. Um, so what we've done is we've put a similar thing on the synth. It's not quite the same, and the reason uh -huh. is you only have a single position for the synth note to fire, uh -huh. but you can choose to put that wherever you like. Right. So I'm going to try to do a quick demo with this. <laughs> yeah. So here we've got, um, if I check this one that I didn't mess it up. Okay. So let's get rid of that, that drone. Mm. And on this page, let's just put a quick chord in. And again, just a quick sort of random chord stuff. Okay. <laughs> now that's just tied in with the, uh, the, yep. the kick drum, of course. But now, of course, if I go to my gate page, press a note and shift, I can say, okay, let's put it there. And then, so it's a little yeah. bit wonky now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not very musical in terms of what I'm doing, but you can kind of see now that we've but got this extra wonk we can add. Yeah, so you and can slip those notes into you places. You can just move them around, yeah. absolutely. And mm. another thing it's good for cool. is, um, you know, if you're um, musically minded and you like your acciacaturas and appoggiaturas, mm -hmm. or simply grace notes, you can do the same sort of thing here as well. So if we go and just put a single note here, okay, and this note, we'll go back to the gate page. So this note, I shall put towards the end. This note, I shall put at the beginning. Mm. So now we have a little ah. kind of slip down note. So yeah. Okay, so yeah. again, nice. musically interesting, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but you get the idea. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's basically, it's there to just allow you to, to have a bit yeah. of extra definition over where the position is of the sound. Yeah, that's cool. So that's, that's kind of uh, two of the things. And then mm. I would say the big thing on here now right. is on the patterns page. Yeah. And the biggest thing that people are asking for at this point yeah. in time is some sort of method of being able to, to sequence pattern chains and patterns together. So we've now got a new feature called pattern chain sequencing. Ooh. And we have, yeah, we have our eight uh, patterns here, of course. Yep. And 
they're, they're <laughs> devoid of any good music at the minute, but it doesn't really matter, <laughs> I can show you. Yeah. If I press the shift button now in this page, yeah. and now tap this part, you see we've got a second light yes. up. Yeah. Tap this one, this one, this one, and I'm determining the uh, order of the pattern. Previously, Previously it, was it was just fixed. Exactly. Yeah. The right. other great thing is, mm. I can... Oh yeah, so you can see them illuminated. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And now, uh, the other uh, great thing is, if I if I say, okay, I want these three to play as... Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, no, let's say five. I want to play these five as a block. Yeah. Then if I do this, it'll take up two positions here, a start and an end position, oh. but it will still act as a block. Yeah. So, we have 32... Uh, pattern slots, slots, if you like, yeah. that we can populate with. So as mm. I carry on, you'll see the octave button lights up and tells us when we're onto an extra page. And if I go past this one, move to octave, the octave up button, and this will light up. So I've got 32 basic. It's like a like a mini arranger yeah. that we've we've added to circuit. That's cool. And so yeah, that means we can get really nice, long, growing sort of patterns. And it's but it doesn't. You can still work in the the way that people are used to as well. With Absolutely. It. So right. if if I want to, I just press so the still, pattern again, and you yeah. see it's just killed it. It's just going to have a single it's pattern straight, there now. Yeah, right, right. And you know I can just do that. And you can still and use the same method. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you can just use great. the same method. Well, in fact, I've got the append switch on here, so we have ah, two methods. Yeah. So append will obviously add to the on end. To the end. Yeah. The, if yep. I take a pen off, now it's just going to act. Uh, it's, uh, it just acts as the same thing. Yep. Yeah. So yep. it's just going to work in that way. Ooh. So, and of yeah. course, that's across all of the um, all of the instruments as well. I've just demonstrated it on synth one, but yep. of course, it's for all of them. Yeah. So I haven't done my sums yet, right. guys, but <laughs> I should get the calculator out tonight yep. and see how many actual permutations of patterns we can get. I think we're getting into silly exponential amounts to be perfectly honest. I think that's but, a very exciting. That, yeah. that is ooh, It's kind of nice, isn't super, it? Super, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, you know, I think that's again, you know, it's that connection to the guys who are using the the, the circuit out there. Yeah. It's just, you know, we're listening to them and seeing how we can kind of give them what they're wanting, mm. you know. Uh, the, the reality is, you know, all of the things that we do in the circuit, you know, we've got to make it nice and usable for people to use. Yeah. If we just say, "Oh yeah, we can do that." Go ahead, do it, and you know. But if, if the user interface is not quite right, then we've got you know, it's it's a bit of a struggle for people too. So we want to make it as circuit friendly as possible. Right. So I mean, like, I mean, that's been the thing about the circuit, hasn't it? It's mm. it's it, it is meant to be an immediate thing. Yes. So to actually build in complexity, it still has to be built yep. in Absolutely. via that same. Exactly. Kind of, it's yeah. got to it's got to come in in a way that people can use it and can use it successfully as well. Mm. So yeah. So. That obviously are the are the updates, the three kind of key updates we've got for the circuit. But there was another kind of thing that people have kind of it's a bugbear for some. For me personally, I think it's an absolute winner. The fact there is no screen on this thing. Yeah, me too. Um, but today we've decided to give you a big screen. <laughs> so we have the USB connected. Of yep. course, this is running on the computer, yep. and this is from our um, components software. Yep. The components has been around for a little while, and mm. that's the way to manage your oh, files, yeah, your yeah. patches, your samples, samples, and all yeah. of those sorts of yeah. things. But now we've actually got with us our um, full synth editor. In so fact, this is a full synth editor. Absolutely. In yeah. fact, the last page that we, yeah. uh, uh, sorry, the last version of components says we gave you ma access to the macro, the macro editors, editor. Yeah. But now instead we've got it's, access to the full uh, engine. Look at that. And so I this mean, is the full Nova engine. It no, is absolutely. It, yeah. it's, it's basically two kind of small mini Novas in here, if you right. like. Right. It's a two oscillator version of the mm. mini Nova engine. Um, but yeah. of course we've got access to the stuff and lots of nice little features as well. So. This is one for Nick, of course. We have to start with this. A yeah. pulse width. But if we start to play around with the index, you get a nice graphic representation graphic. of nice. what that's doing. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's really useful. And again, this is yeah. available in the wavetable stuff look as at well. All that. So we yeah. go to you know this one, and you can see them interpolating. Mm. And I think again, you know, the fact that we've got this kind of nice, great big visual feedback. Yep. You know, if you want to just get into the nuts and bolts mm. of the synth engine here, mm -hmm. you've got access to everything. Great. And you, you know, you can really yeah. get to grips and just sculpt your own sounds when you're happy with the sound you created. Yep. Just simply hit the store to circuit store button, to circuit, and then choose which one you want, choose it, to which patch awesome. you want it to go with. Yeah, so that wasn't original criticism of mm. mine. With it, it yeah. felt a bit of a lottery. Yeah. Now this removes yeah, the kind of lottery absolutely. and means Indeed. you can set it up. Indeed. Exactly I mean, you, you know, want. there are editors available for, for sure. it. But what we wanted to do is to sort of integrate all of this into one into system, the one place with yeah. components. Yeah. So you can make all your patches. You yeah. can even store the patches, you know, in your own sort of fi files mm. on your computer as well. Bring right. them back when you want, and it's all nice and 
wi And it's still well. the cloud storage side of it yeah, as well. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, it says error getting updates because I'm not connected Wi-Fi here, the, of course. Yeah, sure. But yes, of course, yeah. I can log in and all of this is available online as well. Really nice. So, yeah. And, it, and like by looking at that, you can see that this is a complex in... Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the oscillator page. The oscillator page. Here's the filter page. I love the graphic for the filter again. Yeah. You know, again, it's just sort of explaining what the filter's actually mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. um, envelopes as well, so we can access the three envelopes here. Yeah. Um, and then LFOs, yeah. uh, the FX page as well, so we can you oh, know, control neat. the chorus um, and phaser effects that we've got on here, distortions. Awesome. And then you'd save yeah. those effects into yes. the kind of effects. Uh, okay, no, these are the actual synth effects. So the effects ah. themselves here are, are kind of separate so, from this. Ah, that's the synth but effects. Again, yeah, but again, you know, mm. there are always things that we can oh, yeah. take a look at. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, see, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I mean, but yeah, these are the effects but, and the synth engine. Mm -hmm. Settings page, I think, is, yeah, it's really just kind of poly polyphony, uh, polyphony mode, portamento, that sort of thing. Oh, you see there is a 20 slot mod modulation oh, matrix course, as well. well. Sorry, yeah, if we go here, yeah. then we have our mod matrix available down at the bottom. And again, we've got our source, so we can easily access the modulator. So let's get, yeah. a, let's get an LFO. Let's, we can add two, of course. You know, It's not just a single um, mm. modulator. We can have an envelope after the LFO if we want as well. Here's a depth amount, so it's positive, negative. So bipolar there. And then, of course, the destination. Yeah. And if we look at the list ah. in the destination, there's plenty of Pretty, things yeah. there to play around with. Wow. So um, yeah, so that's the, uh, the components circuit editor. Mm. And um, actually, you know, I, I, I found myself really kind of enjoying using this. G generally, I won't have the computer next to the circuit, but actually, mm. you're quite right, Gaz. It's a monster of a synth in there. Mm. And so, you know, why not start a play around with all of those features? And well, it starts to become a bit of a bargain, doesn't it? As a, you know, when you see what kind of power synth well, you've got inside here. I think and now yeah. being able to access the exactly. depth. But, I mean, yeah, like the, you say, the editor was available before, but yeah. having it all in this one place. In this one package, just yeah. nice and neat, very yeah. graphic, very easy to look, very easy on the eye as well. I think yeah. that was something we worked very hard on. I know the guys on the waveform interpolation graphics, mm -hmm. for example, worked very hard to get that sort of just right. And they are actually the waveforms that are in there as well. So, you know, it makes it makes oh, sense. Yeah. And it's got the color combo. If you went to the synth, for synth instance, two, of course, the, yeah. chain, the color would change. Of course, yes. Yeah. So, so it's all so immediately, kinda... yeah, immediately there. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite buttons, certainly my favorite button on the peak, um, hmm. is the initialize button. Oh, yeah. And so we can start from scratch as well. Brilliant. And of course, you know, you've got your open patch, get yeah. current patch. You've got all your kind of management things mm -hmm. here as well. And you can categorize them if you want to as well. Ah, cool. So, yeah. Um, so that's the, uh, the basically circuit 1.7. Great. And the components editor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a great day for the circuit. Yeah. <laughs> and like sort of packs then. I, I mean, the packs, they're, they're, um, are there more kind of uh, like factors? Factory packs, uh, you know, or factory created packs coming yeah. online, or it, well, sort of users let's, sharing. Let's packs. see. I mean, I think if users want to share packs, of course, that's going to be really easy to do. Right. And um, they can just send them over the circuit pack, and they'll just be able to open it up on the computer and fire it in. And just to explain um, what a pack is, a pack is basically well, patches. Yeah, the pack is the uh, patches, the sessions, and the samples. And the samples. Yes, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the three layers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you, I mean, yeah, basically, the, all, the, all the synth sounds, all the samples that you want to put in, the 64 sample slots, mm -hmm. um, and also all the sessions as well, yeah. the, um, the 32 sessions. That's a full pack, so it's yeah. basically a snapshot of the whole thing. Mm. But if you want to, you can go to patches and just, and just go with, you know, just right. go with the single patches. So mm -hmm. if you want to, you know, share and, and just, ah, made a great, great 303 style patch, there you go. Go. No. There you go, load it in. Brilliant. So, but from the point of view, from so, so practice from ourselves at the moment. Um, well, I mean, again, well, it's something we'll take a look at. We've no patches um, or packs that I'm. Uh, I think we're going to release just at the moment. But you know, watch this space. You know, you'll never know what happens. So, yeah. But I mean, you know, there's such a great community out there. People wanting to share what they're doing as well. So I think right. there'll be no uh, no shortage of uh, sort shortage of packs around. <laughs> so one little question I was wondering about though is. Um, <laughs> If you were like using the the cloud to store samples, yeah, how many samples can you store on the cloud? Wow, that's a good question, and I would yeah. need to speak to our technical <laughs> guys, <laughs> the no, guys who manage that side of things. It's but just, it's quite, yeah. it's an interesting thing. Though, it that, is. That, that I mean, like, you could like anywhere you are, you can just go online. Yeah, and just pull Absolutely. down your patch. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean. In, 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 in real terms, mm -hmm. we've never hit the limit for any user yet. Okay. That I'm aware of, at least, anyway. Mm. So, um, 
yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> my suggestion is keep going until you until can't. You, until you can't. Great. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the reality is, no, we've not found that, you know, there has been so much uh, right. content there that we've just Th- not been, yeah, problem. that okay. we've had to cap it. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's, yeah, but you're right, it's all available wherever you like. So And all that's free, isn't it? You, yeah, for the, you know, absolutely. For every circuit yeah. user, you get the free, you yeah. get all of that. Well, this is the, the new, ver- new version of Components is available now. Right. Uh, the 1.7 update um, is also free, of course. Mm-hmm. All the updates for circuit have all been free. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's two and a half years, or maybe coming up to, actually, maybe coming up to about three years now. Wow. Seven updates. And, and one of the nice things is they've not been about bug fixes. They're actually adding features. Adding features. So, you know, uh, you know we, could have, we could have initially just thought, right, there's circuit. There you are. That's, that's the product. But, you know, the, the people were saying, mm. well, it wouldn't be great if it could do this. Mm. And we were saying as well, yeah. yes, it would be amazing <laughs> if it could do this. Yeah. So that's why we've, you know, kind of uh, continued no, to do I that. No, I think kudos, I think it's brilliant. Thank to, you. You know, yeah. to do that, I think it's really Excellent. good. And, and I'm so yeah. sorry to have upset the uh, the Apple cart <laughs> yeah. with, the, uh, uh, with the 1.4 update video. So, <laughs> hey, right. guys, an invitation. Maybe you can do a 1.7 at some Yeah, point. I think we might have to. <laughs>